Uh, what is a routing table? A uh, routing table is a logical construct within VPC that contains a set of rules called routes application uh, applicated to subnet. Again, in my example, remember when a traffic from the internet gateway is coming in and you have the IP address of 192.168.1.0, for example, where, do, where should I, which IP address should I translate it to? This is where the, the routing table comes in. Routing table says, okay, well, this IP address, which was the EIP address, which is the external uh, access machine IP address. Uh, this is translated to the subnet IP address, which is 10.0.10.5, for example, or 6. Uh, this is where I'm going to send the traffic to. So that's where the routing table comes into play. They route the traffic based on the uh, mapping of the IP address that is kept within the routing table. OK. Uh, what is an internet gateway? Again, uh, internet gateway is a horizontally scaled, redundant, uh, high availability VPC component. It allows communication between instances and internet. Any traffic that comes in uh, or needs to leave the EC2 instance without, without, uh, with the, uh, within the um, uh, EC2 in environment, you need to have an internet gateway right here. So this is, a, is an important component because what it does is basically uh, it, it says, okay, do I have rules and regulation that I can send out the traffic or I can uh, let the traffic in? So Internet Gateway is a key component that basically does that job whenever its traffic is coming in from outside or whenever the traffic wants to leave the subnet or the VPC, uh, Internet gate Gateway comes in. Internet Gateway are horizontally, meaning you can scale horizontally and if one goes down, the other can pick up. Uh, it allows communication between instances and Internet. IC, uh, Internet Gateway IGW provides a target in VPC route tables for Internet route table traffic. So it basically it provides a, a, uh, um, a target saying, okay, well, which, which machine basically I need to access when it's coming from the outside or when the traffic is coming in. It always say, it talks to the uh, routing table in order to uh, help the routing table to, to translate uh, which machine needs to be accessed if some traffic is coming up in from the outside from the internet or when the traffic is coming out. Uh, perform a network address translation for instances that have been assigned public IP addresses and Internet Gateway translate the reply address to the instance public IP address and maintains one-to-one -one mapping of instance private IP and public IP. So it, it's very important to understand that if you don't have an Internet, internet Gateway, uh, then you won't be able to go out or let the traffic come in uh, to your EC2 instance. So that's a very important and key component uh, when you come to VPC. Okay, so I've already talked about that. Okay, um, so this is just another example, right? So, uh, so this is the Internet Gateway. You have the routing uh, router. So there's a routing table, right? One other component I've introduced here is they call the uh, is the ACL, the Access Control List. So I think I talked about it just a second ago. Uh, where if you want to deny a traffic coming in or with a specific IP address because you're suspicious of, uh, um, of uh, some phishing, some uh, SQL injection, uh, some hacking, what you do is you put that address, address range in that ACL. I had an experience where a few months ago we were having a traffic that was coming in uh, from Russia with the RU right, a domain and it was trying to access our machine. So we, uh, we had to actually define with an ACL any, uh, any traffic coming from that. Uh, we, we translated the IP address, we trace out that, and we put that uh, address range in our ACL. So anything coming from that address range would actually be blocked. So ACL would work there where you want to define uh, any IP address that doesn't need to be passed through uh, to uh, to be allowed into your internet into your allowed internet into your VPC or access your any of your asset on AWS. So we defined that in ACL and we were able to actually uh, successfully uh, thwart that and then stop that traffic coming in. Um, so that's a key concept that is defined in this. The other thing is the security group. So again, like I said earlier, security group allows you uh, to uh, add a, a rule where you say, okay, what are the ports, what are the IP address range that are allowed for what protocols. It could be uh, an IP address uh, of your machine that needs to do an SSH. Um, so if you want to allow a specific IP, IP address machine to have access to a specific EC2 instance and, and the protocol that is allowed is SSH, then you would actually define that in SG, the security group. 
right? Um, and uh, if you don't allow that, then any machine who's just trying to do an SSH or ping, uh, if that IP address is not defined in that SSG or security group, that machine will not be allowed. And I will show you that, uh, how do you define that? Okay, um, these are the labs. When I was doing the other um, you know, uh, online training session, I would ask people and I would ask you guys as well if you have time, because I'm kind of covering at a high level. This is a webinar just to give you an introduction of these uh, basic concepts, starting from the cloud and into the storage, into the accessibility IM, and, and now into the networking. But I think the uh, the onus is on you guys, whoever are participating in today's webinar, is maybe take this as a, as a homework assignment and actually try, try it on your own. So the, I, I did this uh, for one of our, my session when I was doing a workshop where I would ask them to uh, create a subnet, a uh, private subnet, a public subnet, launch instance on each subnet, attach internet gateway to access the internet, access instance on private subnet, uh, create a security group, allow certain uh, ping, DB, SSH, HTTP, HTTPS protocols within the SG group, attach SG to this instance, attach to the private sub subnet, um, net instance, uh, which is basically a network gateway instance, uh, allow that so that you can access the gateway as well. Uh, 